Hello there, this is Tamil. Someone messaged me today on Instagram saying, hey, we want to export Procreate Dreams animation, but with a transparent background. We're not able to, we don't know how, we will pay you, can you please do this for us? And I said to myself, there's a better plan. How about I make this video teaching you how to do it, not get paid, stay poor, and that's it, that, that is the plan today. So let's just get into the tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to export animation in Procreate Dreams with transparent background. Let's open up Procreate Dreams. You're gonna open a file, whichever file you have. And here I have this spectacular animation, pretty much a Disney level. I think I'm gonna be working at Pixar next week. Um, I mean, that's what my mom said, but uh, so if you go into here, there's gonna be numbers. Click here, you're gonna see background color. That is very important, this is what we need. What it starts out with is usually white, but uh, because we usually draw on top of white, we assume uh, it's transparent because that's like the base color. But no, if you export it like this, it's gonna give you white as a background. What you need to click in reality is transparent button. I know it's very obvious, but still wanna point out, if you do transparent, then, our background is actually transparent. It's not dark, it's empty. So if we play, you can see that it's gonna show some, you know, bleaching outside the lines because of that. So after this, we're gonna go into Dream and here we're gonna see a share button. And if you go into video or custom settings, you're gonna see that it has all these settings, but it's not gonna let you export video with transparent background. There's not even a button for that, even though in a regular Procreate, it is a function. So because of that, I assume they will add this later for here. But in order to right now, at the moment of January 2024, to export this with transparent background, what you need to do is frames as images. This will allow us to export this as a PNG. PNG uh, stands for, don't remember what stands for, but basically it will mean that it will have a transparent background. So. It's gonna go into save and can go into save files. And here I can see that I have Procreate Dream open. If you don't have that, just go on my iPad, Procreate Dream, and it's gonna automatically make a folder for your project. So if you click save, it's gonna say, oh, the file Dream 4 already exists. Well, because I saved it before, but uh, I can say keep both. And now it is saved. So now if I go into main uh, iPad menu, go into file, go in here and go on my iPad, go in Procreate Dreams. You're gonna see there's two folders. One of them has 16 items. And this is what we need. This is my file with my uh, project that I have made. And you can see that each frame will be separate. It's gonna be frame one, frame two, frame three, and each one has a number on it. That is a good because that means it work, works. Uh, you can import this into editing software. I'll show you this in a bit. But if you click on it, you can actually see that the background becomes black because there's nothing behind it. So that's kind of the default for, um, for example, the iPad. Anything transparent will show just like pure black. So you can actually swipe these and make a little flip book. But we have all of these and now what I can do in my case is I can select all of these, right? And I can go into share. And because I am a super, super rich artist that makes billions of dollars, I have uh, a MacBook, which will allow me to drop it off as a airdrop. I can just click airdrop. And now it is going to connect it to my MacBook that is next to me. And it will send it into my downloads. Alrighty, so we are in my MacBook and if we go into downloads and we go into the full folder, you can see that we have all of those frames together. We have all of them in here and we can double check it. It is indeed transparent. So Procreate Dreams is not lying. It is indeed transparent. And just to stay organized, I'm gonna go ahead and make a new folder, say masterpiece animation uh, final final version five. And so now we're gonna select everything and I'm gonna drop it in here. And I have 16 files in here. And you can do this in pretty much any software that supports this. 
the only thing you have to Google is import image sequence and whatever software you're using. Let's say Premiere Pro or After Effects. It doesn't matter. Whatever program you're comfortable using, that will allow you to import this. In this case, I'm going to do DaVinci Resolve. It is a free editing program that you don't need to pay for. And I have it already installed. I have it in here, but you can go ahead and download it from their website if you want or use any other program. We can go into a new project, let's say sequence. In DaVinci Resolve, we can go into this little left panel. It's gonna be the media pool. And if you go into Finder and just drop your folder in here, we're going to see that it found our images. But we can import this one by one because it's only gonna allow you to do one image. That's not what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and there's gonna be a three little dot. Click on that, go into frame display mode and go to sequence and boom, it just combines everything together in correct order. So we're gonna go ahead and just drop it into here. And if you go to edit, there we go. We have our master edit. And if you see and notice it is indeed transparent. And if you want, you can just export this. You can keep working, add layers, compose it, whatever you wanna do with your animation. You can even, you know, double it, make it faster. So, there we go. So now we have our little animation imported with transparent background and you can export this to YouTube, to Instagram, become super famous, make billions of dollars. And of course, send some of that money to me because I am indeed uh, starving right now. But other than that, you know, go ahead. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Hopefully this tutorial was useful. Thank you so much and keep on creating art.